Okay, so I am going to show you how to mine Ethereum. So I'm currently on Amazon. Go go to my instances. I currently have one instance, which is a specific instance. It's one of the G2. That's the graphics, the GPUs. Uh, this is unlike the normal instances. It has GPUs, so it's going to be a lot faster for mining. So let me get that started up. Oh, wrong one, sorry. Let me start up my instance. And it's currently stopped at the minute is because the G2 instance is probably runs about 40, 40 pound a day, give or take. Uh, so it's pretty expensive to run. Um, definitely not um, at this moment worthwhile, shall we say, for mining. Um, certainly does does the job, but economically, um, if you're paying forty pound a day, you're not going to get that back at 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 the current rate of the network. So now we have an IP address. I'm going to use Putty. Close this one down. Give it a second here. So I'm going to spare you the details of actually um, how to connect and all that. There, I'm going to assume that you have a, a GPU rig. I'm going to assume that you have uh, you're able to access your your system. In fact, um, I just need to check the. Oh, we're good. I might have needed to open the firewall there. So I'm just going to check to see if there's anything running. No. Cool. So one of the things to get it running is you're going to need to install the GF. Um, let's see if there's a good resource for that. I suppose I could point you towards the documentation. That's probably the best. But essentially what you're going to do let me see. It's probably gonna have a look at this resource here. So essentially what you're gonna do one I guess let me just find one of the resources I had. Um GPU cloud man and here you go. This is the one I actually used. So take this URL um follow this guide um substitute it for what you need but essentially it gives you the walkthrough of even how to connect up through putty um what to install how to install how to configure etc and uh, one issue I did run into though is when you get to step three install F minor and um, following this guide when you go here you'll find that it's a dead repository and it redirects you here essentially but what I found out is if you just do this the F minor is now included in one of the library projects within the new the new directory that it'll point you to here. So just continue with this here. It's already installed. You're fine. And then this will benchmark it. For me, benchmarking wasn't working. But from when it was mining, and you'll see in a second, that I was getting around 36 mega hashes a second. Um, it tells you how to create a new account. It tells you how to check it. Um, and then here's where it really sets it up. So this is what you really want to get to this part. I'm going to show you that now. Here we go. That's it connecting up. And in a second you'll see it'll start to catch up with the, the blockchain. Now this instance is probably down one hour maybe. Maybe maybe an hour and a half or so. So let's have a look. Block synchronization started.
Uh, here we go. So, and just for the point out to you, so it's starting to import the blocks. Typically, it's around two, five, six here is what you see. It's the blocks that you normally see. And um, once you get it, once you see it doing one block, one block, one block, one block, then you know that the blockchain is synced. So if you're doing this for the first time, you might have to leave it. I think I left it for around three hours before it synced the whole blockchain. And I started to notice the one block, one block, one block. Um, over here is the actual block number. So you see I'm up at 1.2 million, uh, 464. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, the block number. So if you look at what this is, you look at what the current block is on one of the websites, you'll find out uh, how far away you are. But essentially, just let that roll. It typically is a little bit faster than this here. I don't know why it's going slow at the moment. So I'm going to leave that right now. I'm going to do Control Alt D. Ah, I didn't do the screen. Sorry, 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 sorry. So let me do it again. So let me clear that up. So I got the screen first. Because we want to be able to, you know, go between the two different applications without them closing. And then we will do... This is the command, actually, if you're seeing on my screen now, that actually got it running all GPUs. Um, okay, so RPC. There we go. Looking good. And again, it'll start to sync with the blockchain and it'll start to. Give it a second here. Now, I think I'm almost certain if you. I'm actually going to stop it again. And I believe if you use the mine, I'm not sure if it's two or one, but I'll try two. And I'll take the console away because I'm not sure that's actually relevant. Let's have a look. Okay, so what we're actually doing here, so it's the first time I've actually used the mine, and um, this is CPU mining. So if you want to just start the Ethereum and get it ready to mine, forget the mine on the end here, just um just do these two commands and it'll it'll start you know syncing with the blockchain. All right, but what it's actually doing is because I put mine on the end, it's gonna use the twenty one CPUs that I have on this particular box and it's gonna do CPU mine. Now I'm gonna do control I'm going to do control A, D, and that brings us out of the screen. So if I want to see, do another one, so I'm going to do screen, enter, and I'm going to run next command, which is the minor command. It's this one here. And you can play about with these numbers here. So essentially, this is the, the timing. So I believe it's, I believe it's five hundred milliseconds. It's like half a second. So watch what happens here. And I didn't say, but once you follow the guide that I showed you here, you get F minor. It has the instructions here. It tells you to do it um, graphics card at a time. But I found every time I started the second one, it crashed the first one. So what I did was I found this command online, the one I just showed you there um, a second ago. And what it does is it essentially runs all the GPUs. Now, in this case here, it looks like it's not doing it. Because I would expect to see hashes here. So it's every half a second, half a second, half a second, but it's not hashing for some reason. So let me kill that. I'm just going to scroll up and see what it actually said. Oh, that's a way. Okay. So I'm going to come out of here, control A, D. Now if you want to see what sessions you have essentially. So I have the first one, which is GF, 
which is the blockchain that you were seeing and the other one is where we're going to run the actual GPU mining so you can go between these here put in screen X and the number there so one eight eight one that's where we were a second ago control a d I held control I tapped a I tapped d it came out over that there and just push up and list them again and change the number to one seven 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 and we're back to the the gf so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop this one and clear the screen and i'll do this right so i'm not going to cpu man i'm just going to set up gf rpc so that the other application can call over rpc to this application on the blockchain and get and get work essentially so i'm going to give it a second there's our endpoint there on a default port the other application knows to basically call this and then query and get 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 the blocks essentially maybe in a second ideally i wouldn't start the gpu mining until the blockchain synced but obviously i don't want to in fact, it's it's probably not too far off if it's doing ones, ones and twos. But I would expect it so earlier and yesterday it was it was just going one one of the, every second. Just going sh -sh 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 -sh. So yours will probably be different tomorrow. I'm not quite sure what the slowness is today, this evening. But it has uh, started syncing with the blockchain. I'm not sure what the latency is there, but there's there's certainly some latency in getting syncing with the blockchain. So what I'll do is I'm going to do Control A D, come out of there. I'm going to do Screen L S. Going to see what I have, and I'm going to do. Uh, back to this one, and then I'm going to try the Ethereum miner again, Math miner, and see does it work this time. So getting work package. Ah, uh, look, JSON RPC problem. Couldn't connect. Retry it. So let's see. I've seen that before, and the second time it usually does it. Okay, creates a big buffer, and there we go. Perfect. So now it is, I guess what happened the last time was when I started the GF, I used the mine uh, flag which, or parameter, which basically started mining. So probably when I did GPU mining, I couldn't do both. But essentially what we're doing here is, looks like we're doing 18 mega hashes every half second. So double that for a second, it needs 16. 18, sorry, 18 and 18 is around 36 mega hashes essentially, if I'm correct. And you can count the, the seconds per block. So I'm guessing it's every every two of these is one second. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Some are longer than others. So I'm guessing this correlates in some way to the blocks on the blockchain being every 15 or so seconds. And you can play about with the the number and the command that I showed you. But there you go. So it's mining away. And you control A D. I'm going to list. I'm not, I'm not going to list. I'm going to go back to the other one. Essentially. And over here you'll see. This should be a little bit faster than what it currently is. But you see you've got miner. Miner worker. Commit new work on the block. On this block essentially and how long it took so usually this particular one is, is a lot faster but essentially so um, install GF for AD 
back to the other one install uh, if you just follow that guide essentially once you have and when you get to here um, screens relevant F minor G but this part's different if you use the command in my video the farm one and don't use it for each one it will should work for you um, and it's it's this one's geared more towards Amazon but if you have your own rig you can skip to the relevant sections but this is pretty good this, this is works well um, highly recommend it hopefully you get some uh, blocks made all the best if the, you find any value from the video um, like it share it subscribe or we'll put more videos out just any feedback at all just uh, good or bad just just uh, leave a comment thank you